Here's an old Toshiba L35 laptop. Uh, this has a 1.86 gigahertz Intel Celeron mobile CPU and about a gig and a half of RAM in it. And I just wanted to show that um, you can install on these old machines that might otherwise be headed for the recycle bin a uh, special version of Ubuntu Linux called L Ubuntu or Lubuntu, the L standing for lightweight because it doesn't use a lot of system resources to run. It uses a different desktop called LXDE, which kind of operates along the mode of um, like Windows 7 style. If you're familiar, most of you are familiar with that. So you've got your accessories and graphics programs, internet. It um, works reasonably well on this machine yeah, at this point. You're probably not going to put Windows 8 on here. And I did a uh, default installation. This is 14.04 version. And, um, you know, it's acceptable. I could use this uh, computer if I was out on the road or something. And I could, you know, leave it in the hotel and not worry about, well, if it got stolen, it wouldn't be a huge loss, if you know what I mean. The laptop itself's in in pretty good condition. I really don't think there's a scratch on it. It didn't get much use through its over its life. It needs a, a battery, of course, and I don't even know if you can get one for it anymore. But uh, it works pretty well. There's your news page, and um, I can bring up uh, YouTube videos. It, it won't do HD. I, I don't believe it will. Um, my choices here for uh, 360p's and max I can do, but uh, you know the frame rate's pretty good on it. Um, I want to do some notes about installation. Even though when you install it, there's a checkbox for MP3 support, and I didn't check it, and yet I found um, it's still. Um, We'll play back MP3 MP3 files as you can hear. Um, which is interesting. So it's installing it anyway. Uh, another point I wanted to make with this uh, version of Ubuntu as opposed to the regular full-fledged Ubuntu, and I'm just speaking from experience here, I've run into problems with L Ubuntu, and I've also run into problems with X Ubuntu, the one that's based on the X Windows desktop. Um, with this one, I, it seems to me like you install the CD version, and everything works pretty good. But once you turn on those updates, and you start taking down the latest updates, then the is it, little issues and problems start coming in. And I actually found with Lubuntu that I'll have weird problems with the browser if I update it. I'll have trouble, especially with logins, like logging into Google. And uh, nothing will seem to make it, you know, work. I'm not a computer expert. I mean, I consider myself kind of a, you know, a basic comp level computer tech. I do work with computers at work, but uh, I don't know all the ins and outs of the applications and things. Especially, you know, on Linux. Linux is a lot of, uh, <laughs> uh, for you know, you, you end up uh, installing it and playing around with it and hoping you can make it work. <laughs> and sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to say if you got a PC out there that's uh, headed for the recycler, uh, throw uh, Lubuntu or Xubuntu on it and, um, and give it a try. And you'd be surprised how well it, it works and how little you can get away with. Um, and still, uh, you know, still do some things online.